Hey, what's going on guys? It's Central Gamer here and welcome back to Clash Royale. So, I will be doing a top 15 for the um for this video um on Clash Royale um top 15 interesting facts. Um yeah, I already did a top 5 in things you probably didn't notice in Clash of Clans. So, yeah. Before I start off the video, um, I'm just letting you guys know, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Um, yeah, and then go down in that comment section and, you know, um, tell me if I missed any other interesting facts and you want me to include it in my next video. So, yeah, let's, um, let's stop talking, well, let me stop talking and our first fact is with the Lumberjack. So, Believe it or not, the Lumberjack actually made the log. Yeah, a shocker. If you didn't know that, then, well. And my proof is, in the Lumberjack's um, information, he's, it says, He chops trees by day and hunts the log by night. His bottle of rage, uh, rage spills everywhere when he dies. So that's his information. But if we scroll down to the log, it actually says, A spilt bottle of rage turned an innocent tree trunk into the log. Now it seeks revenge by crushing anything in its path. See? Log. Spilt. Rage. He spills his bottle of rage everywhere when he dies. You get the similarities? Yeah. So that's number one. Number two is the minion... Um, yeah, so not the minion horde, but the minions themselves. Where are they? These guys. No. Um, yeah, so, um, their information is three fast unarmored flying attackers. Roses are red, minions are blue. They can fly and will crush you. So, if you look at the Clash Royale trailer, I'm not gonna, um, show images or videos on this. Because then my phone gets weird. So, um... If you see in the trailer, minions actually create spitballs from their fists. Um, and then when they get big enough, they throw it. But in Clash of Clans, they actually spit it. I'm not sure why they changed it. Um, changed it from Clash of Clans spitting to Clash Royale throwing. Um, yeah, I think they just switched up the mechanics a little. But yeah, that's number two. Number three is this guy down here, the bowler. This, this big blue dude digs the simple things in life, dark elixir drinks and throwing rocks. His massive boulder rolls every, um, through their target, hitting everything behind for a strike. So he actually has, um, he actually has two things about him, but they're going to count as number three. So um, his first one is the bowler, um, the bowler deploy sound, um, is actually the Grand Warden sound, just a little, um, different, though. I'm not gonna put anything down, like I said. So, if you go back into Clash of Clans, and you, um, you get the Grand Warden, and deploy him in a battle, he actually makes a similar sound to the bowler. They're not the exact same, but really similar. Um, e and even though they don't even, um, they're not even related in any way, they still have a similar sound. And the second one is, um, in Clash of Clans, the bowler, he actually throws his ball, or his rock, and it can, it can hit up to three targets at once. But in Clash Royale, he actually rolls the ball. So I'm not sure why they changed that, that's just weird. Um, so, yeah, that's number, um, that's number three done. Number four is any card, um, yeah, so any card in the game that has purple eyes change from blue to red, depending on what team they're on. So, um, yeah. You guys can check that out for yourself. Um, I would show you, but there's no one on, so... Yeah, you guys can check that out for yourself. You can check it with a clan mate. This is 100% true. And then number four is the container for the zap. So, that, there we go. So the container for the zap and the poison spell 
they're both the they're both the same containers as the dark elixir container from Clash of Clans. So if you go into Clash of Clans and go into your spell factory and scroll down or scroll to your um dark or your spells, the the spells are actually dark um dark elixir containers. So yeah, that's a nice feature to know. Um, number six, the knight, um, the knight used to have red or blue shoulder pads, depending on what team he was, so, this guy right here, dang, yeah, this guy, he, he, this guy right here, let me, um, yeah, yeah, let me try to go into training and show you guys. Uh, no. I'll be back. There we go. So, as I spawn him here, his shoulders actually used to have, um, pads on him. But I'm not sure why they changed it. No one really knows why, but they changed it. So, before he used to have, um, shoulder pads on him, but now he doesn't. So, that's something else that you guys probably didn't know. Um, there will be a bonus at the end, so don't forget to, um... Don't forget to stay tuned for that. So, yeah. We already have that one now. Okay, so number seven is the tombstone we see here. If I can find it. Please. Yeah, so. The tombstone here, um, we see here. Um, this was actually... A Halloween decoration from Clash of Clans. So it was um it was actually a decoration, believe it or not. And when you destroyed it, it would give you I believe um I, I think two thousand something elixir. Um but yeah, it it was really um yeah, so see. Yeah, it was like it was a good decoration while it lasted, but they were they didn't grow that much. So yeah. Um, hopping on to number eight. Um, yeah. So the Clash of Clans, which actually floats, and um, when she spawns skeletons, she um she like spawns them in a circle, and she spawns four. But since the update came, she only spawned three in Clash Royale, so we're not gonna mention that. But in Clash Royale, the witch walks, and um, after a couple seconds, she spawns skeletons as she walks. So, um, like she spawns skeletons in front of her as she walks. So, yeah, that's something different you guys probably didn't notice too. Um, so yeah. Um, coming in at number nine. Um, no one really knows how the miner digs through different floors in the arena, as in floor, um, arena two, uh, as where, as arena two, which I don't get if it's missing some of the arena, and he can't dig under the bridge, does it make any sense, so it can't, I don't know how it digs under the bone pit arena, um, yeah, the bone pit arena, um, Bone Pit Arena, Packers Playhouse, which doesn't make any sense either since it's missing the middle and it has molting lava on bottom. And number six, which is Mechanic or Builder's Workshop. Again, doesn't make any sense on how he can dig under, but um, I'm not going to blame the mechanics. But another thing he also does is he can also go over the river. I don't know how that makes any sense. The miner w can literally be the only card that can go through the river. Okay, I'm just not going to wonder. So, yeah. Hopping on to number 10. The Barb. Um, the Barb Hut is actually a level 1, um, a level 1 barrack from, um, from Clash of Clans. They did add something, um, a little bit to it. But, um, yeah, they didn't add it exactly it, it, they added some different parts to it, but it is a level one barrack from Clash of Clans, knowing that 
these barracks, um, the Barbarian Hut, only spawns barbarians. And at level 1, the barracks from Clash of Clans, only you can only get barbarians unless you upgrade them to level 2, where you get archers. So yeah, that's, um, that's number 10. Um, going on to number 11. This is actually a pretty surprising one. I didn't, I didn't even know this until I came across it. So, yeah, if you go on to stat, um, stats over here. Um, let me, let me, where's the skeletons? Um, no. So, yeah. Look, look at the, um, look at the tower damage, or the damage. This guy does, um... 67 damage at level 9. A single skeleton does um, 67 damage. And it does more damage than a miner, which is surprising. Because um, look at that. The skeleton is does 67 damage. Oh, wait. My bad. But, yeah, that's, um, I'm not sure if they added that in. Yeah, but, um... A level, um, a, a skeleton does more tower damage than a miner, not normal damage. That's why I was confused. Um, it doesn't really show you the tower damage. Oh, yeah. It doesn't tell you the tower damage, but if it did, um, go ahead, spawn some skeletons down against a teammate, and it will show you it does more damage than a miner. So, yeah. That's number, um, that's number 11. Number 12 is, the golem in Clash Royale has a mouth. So, the golem down here, this big tanky troop over here, has a mouth. But in Clash of Clans, he doesn't. I'm not sure why they added a mouth. Why add from no mouth to a mouth? It, it's just weird, but... Again, I'm not going to question their mechanics. Okay, so that's number 12. Um, number 13, the barbs are actually, the barbarians are actually cousins with the knight. As you can see, um, I think there's the barbarians, um, the barbarians, wait, no, it's in the knight's information, so... So it says, a tough melee fighter, the barbarian's handsome cultured cousin... Rumor has it that when he was knight, when knighted based on a, on the sheer awesomeness of his mustache alone. So yeah, they um the knight is actually cousins with these guys. So you can actually see the similarities, the mustache and blonde hair and blonde eyebrows, which means blonde hair and a blonde mustache. So yeah. So it turns out these two are cousins. You can also um, you can also know that it, when you're waiting for a battle and you can go on the tips, it will sometimes appear. So yeah, that's number thirteen. Number fourteen is the log was actually seen in Builder's Workshop right at a month after its um, release. So believe it or not, um, I'll, yeah, I noticed that too. This log right here. Used to be just a clump of wood just sitting there, but without the spikes. So when the lumberjack spilled, um, when the lumberjack chopped the um the log down, and spilled um and spilled rage on it, that's when it grew in the spikes. So yeah, um yeah, the log actually was seen months before it actually turned into a, it actually turned into a legendary. So yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, that's number 14. Okay, number 15, which is our last one, but after this, we have the, um, we have the bonus. So, number 15 is the Goblin Hunt, um, the Goblin Hunt in Clash Royale. It's info says, building that spawns spear goblins, but do not look inside. You don't want to see how they are made. Which I don't understand, because in the, in the trailer... Um, they, you actually get to see inside, and it's just a party in there, so, I'm not sure why they added, um, you don't want to see how they're made, they, I'm, I think they're gonna change that, I'm not sure, yeah, so the goblin, the goblin hut from, as you, that you see here, in Clash Royale, is actually, 
a Goblin Hood design from Clash of Clans, except in Clash of Clans, it was in the Goblin, um, the, it was sort of a campaign map, but it was called the Goblin map, and you could, um, they would have gold and elixir for you, and you could attack them. And, yeah, you, um, yeah, these were actually sort of, like, builders, um, building huts, or builder huts. I'm not sure exactly what to call them, but they were a building and didn't attack, so. Yeah, that's number 15. So now for our bonus. Okay, so the Barbarians. And the Elite Barbs. Um, so yeah, if I can have them both. Um, hold on, guys. Yeah, wait for it. So yeah, the barb, the elite barbarians, and the actual barbarians. Um, so the barbarians, when you deploy them, they make um they make their own original sound. But when you deploy the normal the normal barbarians, they make a deeper pitch. So I'm not gonna worry about that. But okay, you hear that? You hear like the sort of shouting, and then. So, you, you heard the similarity, right? You couldn't really hear over the sound of attacks, but still, you guys heard the similarities, right? Okay, good. I was worried that you guys didn't hear it. So, yeah, the, so basically what I'm trying to tell you is the elite barbarians make the same sound as the normal barbarians, barbarians when they're deployed, but a deeper pitch. Yeah, so Supercell likes to um, sort of reuse um, sounds from games and um, put them as different things. As the Grand Warden and the Buller sort of make a similar sound. And the Elite Barbarians and Barbarians make um, a similar sound but a deeper pitch. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this top 15 um, video... Then, um, yeah, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and comment down what you liked about this and, um, what I should, what, what I should add for my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.